Cause he calls it Dummy Race Can't show ya what you mean to me What you mean to me Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel My name is Ruby And I am back on YouTube <laughs> Um, today, you guys, I haven't said that in a while. That sounds weird. But today, you guys, I'm going to be catching you guys up a little bit as to what I've been doing in the past eight months, why I haven't been posting, what have I been up to. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to glam up and do my makeup with you guys, share some tips, share some life updates. And if you guys want to see how I got this look, then please continue watching. Please, you guys, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for clicking. If you guys are back, welcome back. I love you guys. And if you guys are new here, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. Um, and let's just get straight into the video. <clears throat> All right, you guys, we're gonna jump right to it. Pretty much, I'm just gonna be chit-chatting with you guys and letting you guys know. Where the heck have I been? How come I haven't been on YouTube? What have I been up to? If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know pretty much I had two identical twins and um, I got a second BBL. So honestly, what got me off of YouTube for this long? No, sorry. So while I chit chat with you guys, I'm gonna be doing my makeup. First, we start with primer, because I feel like that's very important before you start your makeup, is to moisturize your face. That's what's gonna give you a, like, a really bomb foundation, and it's gonna make your makeup look flawless. But, okay, where have I been? I have been raising two beautiful, identical twins. I, you guys are always asking me on Instagram, like, you know, you need to be vlogging with them, but it's easier said than done, you guys. It really is. Um, it's something I had to get used to. The girls are one and a half now, and it's, I mean, I had six kids before them, but it's not the same as having identical twins, and, you know, it's just not the same. It's so much harder. What happened is I got a BBL too. So I've been recovering from that. I got it August 11th, 10 days after my birthday. And it has been hard. I, I got it with me aesthetics, Dr. Mejio. You guys don't know who that is. He is the greatest of all time. It's amazing. He is from me aesthetics. So I've been just going through life. I had to, I felt like I had to take a break from YouTube because I did not want to just like not be consistent or like only upload like once a month, which is what I was starting to do, if you guys can tell. And I just love to it. And I like to like do it and do it right. And you know, be consistent. Um, so that was pretty much why I was like, okay, there's a lot of life changes going on. I just need to need to focus. And that's what I did. But I realized I miss I miss YouTube so much. I love vlogging, guys. I double wear. Best foundation ever. Then you guys are on my Instagram asking me, like, are you ever gonna go back on YouTube? Like, you know, like should we just unsubscribe? <laughs> so here I am. I feel like I'm ready now to like devote time and do this full time. I mean, it's just so much content it, that I do have just with like having eight kids and always traveling and, you know, um, you know, like helping my husband with his business is owning our own business. So much stuff that I can be blogging that I'm like, I am literally just dumb, like for not doing it. So I've decided I'm gonna come back and it's not gonna be once a month and I'm gonna be very consistent. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the eyebrows next. Uh, okay, so let's talk about it. Um, BBL2, my goodness, you guys. Why did I get it? That's like the main question that I get. Ruby, you already had a BBL1. Why did you get a BBL2? Like, 
Honestly, guys, I paid a lot of money to get what I wanted, and I feel like I had what I wanted, and then I had the twins. And the twins just, you know, I mean, I've never, my body had never been stretched out that much because I only had, I mean, I had two babies in there. Like that's, that had never happened before. So my skin stretched out way more than normal. Um, I still didn't need a tummy tuck, which I'm not gonna lie, I kind of regret because not that I have loose skin or anything, but my muscles have separated so much that the only thing that could fix it is a tummy tuck. Um, I don't have, I mean, I don't have a problem with loose skin. I will, I will eventually guys show you the two. Um, my only issue is like my muscles being so separated from the twins. So I regret not doing it. My doctor recommended it and he was like, you know, if you want the tiny waist that you're looking for, which is pretty much non-existent. He's like, I suggest you get a tummy tuck instead of a BBL. What I had, which is like, I had a show, but I hope you guys know what that is. It's pretty much where it's like, starts pretty right on your lower back. And I, this time I wanted, I wanted a slope, which is something more natural looking. It's like, doesn't start right on the like right on the bottom of your back it's kind of like I don't know look it up it's it is what it is so um, a lot of you guys are asking am I gonna like go back and get more surgery um no that's not the plan right now Uh, a tummy tuck is something that's going to stick with me just because it was recommended. So it's probably something that I'm going to think about for a while and figure out if I'm going to do it or not. Thing is perfect, guys. Like, I know there's such a thing as perfect. I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking to be satisfied. Uh, so until I, I guess I get that. I'll be on the hunt. <laughs> um, I love my MAC concealer, the Pro Longwear, but when I want like a super bright under eye, I do go with the Cover Girl because the MAC one is not so light, like this one. This one's like, whoa. I'm gonna drag it down. I don't wanna actually put some hair because it's so light. But I'm gonna be out all night. I'm in Vegas, guys. As you guys can tell, this is not my bathroom. I'm in a hotel. And um, I'm going to be out for a while. So I want you know, my smile lines not to crease up. I'm going to be flirting with my husband all night. So I'm going to be like smiling on his face. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Um, we're going to go in with the Fenty Beauty powder. And lavender. Riri knew what she was doing, guys, when it came to her makeup line. I am obsessed with how this smells. Did you guys hear that in the background? That's the shower. That's my husband. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if the noise is, like, really annoying. I guess when I'm editing, I'll look into it. And if it's really annoying, then we might not even post this. I'm not sitting here trying to convince you ladies about surgery. It's just a, a decision that I tried, that I made, and I am so happy with it. Um, I don't think 
we ever talked about my breast augmentation. I don't think I've told you guys. I've been out of YouTube so long that, yeah, I don't even think you guys know about that. I went with Dr. Hakeem. Miss Peru recommended him. Um, you guys don't know who she is. You guys are sleeping on her. She is amazing. She's an influencer. She's a boss. She is just everything a woman inspires to be. And um, she recommended him. So I went to him to get my breast augmentation. This is why it's so important to follow me on Instagram. Because <laughs> I've been keen. Even though I don't have posts, I, I mean, I only have like one post. I keep you guys updated in my stories. Um, but yes, I went to go get my breast augmentation. I feel like this has turned into like nothing but surgery talk. Sorry. But that's what I've been up to. I mean, you, you guys been asking me, you know, where you been? Are you ever coming back on YouTube? And it's like, well, I'm just letting you guys know where I've been. And honestly, I've been getting surgery <laughs> and raising two beautiful twins. So you guys have been asking um, how many CCs I got. Hmm. That's, it's gonna be a kind of tricky. I asked for 550 CCs on top of the muscle. So in order for it to look how, what I fell in love with, the size that I fell in love with, he had to put 650 cc's under the muscle, if that makes sense. Yep, you guys don't know the Maria twins? Go find out, go find out. Their makeup is bomb, and so is their channel. Um, yeah, so 650 cc's, but originally I fell in love with 550 cc's. It's under the muscle, so that's why we went with 650. Um, I'm in love. You guys know me. I've never had boobs. <laughs> Don't know what that life is about. Never knew. Had no idea. I'm contouring. I'm not, I used to contour really a lot thinking the more the better. Absolutely not, guys. Absolutely not. Like, what is, what is it like to have boobs? <laughs> so, and you know, after have, well, I didn't have, I was a B, so I, you know, I they, they got big when I had babies, but then they went right back to the regular size. And, um, I got a mini lift. I didn't need a big lift because I didn't have any, pretty much. So I got a mini lift, 650 cc's. I am in love with them. I um, did not think I would like them as much as I do. Just because I was never like a boob girl. Like I never cared. I was more like a butt girl. Like that's what I would work out for. Like that's what I cared for. So I was like, whatever. I was like, I'm just gonna get them. Just, you know, just because I haven't had them. And you know, that's like a girly thing. Like I waited for them to come in since middle school when like all my friends had them, literally. All my friends had boobs and I was like the only one still very flat chested looking like a straight boy. And I would get made fun of, like, you know, she has no boobs and it's like, okay. They're coming and then I would be like, mom, like, when did yours grow in? And then I should have known because then I looked at her and I'm like, never. Um, but I didn't, I did, I was waiting for them because she was like, oh, you'll get them. Like, just relax, calm, you know, like be patient. And it never happened for me, it just never happened. So I was, oh, I forgot my, okay, I have bronzer, just kidding. So I was just like, um, okay, so now when you guys put contour down here if you guys don't want your line to be super visible when you guys are applying it make a kissy face because it stretches your skin out when you do that and then you won't be able to see the harsh line anymore mm -hmm. i know i probably look silly but 
it works. Now we're gonna contour the nose, which is my favorite part because I know you guys probably have heard me talk about this before. I hate my nose. I thought about it, but no, I'm too scared. I'm too scared to touch my face. I'm gonna be very honest. Like I did my lips and that was it. Like I, I was like, I cannot touch my face. Um, and now I'm back. I'm back and I'm better. I'm just like... <laughs> I really am back though. I'm gonna devote myself to this YouTube world. All right, I'm gonna move on to my eyeshadow. This is what takes me the longest. So instead of using my Fenty Beauty, um, which I use to bake, I'm just gonna get the Dragon Beauty powder and just put a little bit in the bottom so that if there's any fallout from the eyeshadow, if there's, um, I can just wipe it right off. I'm just gonna grab something like this, China, just to like use it as a guide to where I want my eyeshadow to go up to. Yep. I have kids. Can you tell? So we got, we're gonna go with desert, which is like a light brown. If you do that, so you guys can see my contours right there and I'm just kind of like connecting it all. And I'm only using it like on the upper eyelid because I'm gonna do like a glitter color, like a silver glitter, because my, my outfit is silver tonight. So this is just gonna be like here. What the hell else should I talk about? I feel like all I've been talking about is freaking surgery. They're gonna hate me. They talk about their own problems. They talk about problems, they talk about their life, they talk about funny shit. Okay. They talk about traveling okay. around them. Okay, okay, okay. Like okay, okay. Trying to my teeth. okay. Like, oh, yeah, I hate shit like that. Stupid. Okay, shh. Must not know. Okay, I get it. I got it. Okay, I got you. I got you. Say no more. Okay. If we want to get into more de I mean, if like, let's talk about personal. We feel like we've talked about surgery. I've had to cut off a lot of people that I thought were important in my life. Um, and they showed their true colors. I don't know if you guys can relate, but you know, sometimes your family is your worst enemies. And so I've been dealing with that, you guys. Um, that, you know, that didn't keep me off of YouTube, but that also kills motivation, right? Like, you know, to be dealing with like people that you think are supposed to be your bigger supporters, people that are supposed to show you love. I'm talking about family members, like your own family that's supposed to be there for you and like love you and care for you and want the best for you and support you. I don't get that. I don't know what that's like. Um, and unfortunately, I had to make the decision that they were just way too toxic in my life. And it was time for them to go. Um... So I'm currently not talking to like my immediate family and um, maybe we'll get into it a little bit later, like deep, deep of what happened. But as for right now, I don't want to talk about it. I just felt like I needed to, you know, let you guys in into what's been going on. And um, that could be very dismotivating. So you guys see that thing just kind of helped me Allow it to cool. Oh no. Let's do it. Just a little bit. Just. It's not a little bit. <laughs> that wasn't a little bit, sis. That was a lot of glitter. Looks like. She's going to work. Looks like that one has more. Let's add some more. Hey, she got a little bit of glitter. She's cute or whatever. Um, okay, do we want eyeliner? 
do I want to be that extra today? No, because the eyelashes I'm going to use are super extra. And if I put on eyeliner, you're just not going to be able to see anything. I want this to look super snatched. So I'm going to go and add some powder there under your, con your contour. Like that. It's a lot. She looks like a ghost. So let's go with the Huda. Hula. Hula. Let's go with the hula. You know what? It's okay. Add some color, sis. Because we were looking pale. No, but we still have to go in with our blush, so. And I love blush, so we're going to go in and in and in. Okay, let's take this powder off. See the difference? Like, you can see that contour there now. Like, okay. She's skinny or whatever. Her forehead, more like a five head. And so, you know, we're gonna fix that too. Nothing makeup can fix. I love makeup. It's like you're an artist and you get to create your own thing. You get to create your own look. Nobody can tell you nothing. I mean, people can try. No, oh, you beat your face too much. How about I beat you up? I'm just playing. <laughs> but it's like, seriously, sis, like, don't fix your lips to say that to me because if you don't know, you don't know. And I'm gonna go in with the Dewy Set Setting Spray from Anastasia right before I put in my blush. This feels bomb. And it smells delicious. And this is what brings life back to your face. Okay, and so now I'm gonna put on these eyelashes. They're from Kiss, extra large collection. They're called Chamis, Chamis. I don't know. You get it, right? I'm gonna go ahead and cut them. And I'm sorry, you guys, my camera died. So now I'm vlogging from my phone. I'm pretty sure the quality is different. But putting on these eyelashes, I'm putting glue on them. I will put them on and we'll be right back. Ta da! They are on! Eyelashes are a game changer. Now we're gonna go in with this and we are going to put some of the eyeshadows that we put on our top lip to the bottom, just to give it like a big eye illusion. And then on the inner lid, we're gonna do the other color that we did the other brown, the lighter brown that we did. Put mascara on the bottom, on the bottom lashes. What mascara, you may ask? MAC Magic Extension. Bomb! Um, yeah. I'm feeling a little more orangey today. I know you guys are not interrupting my vlog. Um, so we are going to go with California by Benefit. There she goes. She's hella cute. She looks like, oops. She looks like so. You guys, uh, Asked me like, how do I get that pink look under the eye? Putting a little bit of blush, guys. And I'm gonna use this brush to put some in the nose. 
at the tip of the nose, like so. One. Now we've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter dripping in gold. It's a stick highlighter. It is bomb. Bomb, I tell you. This is going to go. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of my fingers so that you guys can see. Bomb. And I'm going to stick, I'm going to put a little bit in my nose, like on the tip. Just like to give the solution, like we got a little really tiny nose. But we don't. You see that? Do you see that? Like, boom, boom, boom. So we're going to go in because she's beautiful, whatever. You see that? I think I put too much, but blend, blend, blend. We are going to go with the lips. And I'm going to go in with the LA Colors in brown. And then Jenny69 came out with a real cute lip gloss. That looks almost like a concealer in vanilla. But we're going to put this one today by Max Lip Polish and it's nude. Uh, the reason why I showed you guys the Jenny 69 is because it's usually the one that I go for. Oh, but. try this one today mm. and that is the lips for today mm, let me blend that out okay you guys so this is the final look i just crumpled my hair and put it half up and half down but the makeup this is the glitter contour the highlighter the eyeshadow and the lips. I don't know, it's just, I love it, you guys. I think it's perfect glam for a night in Nevada to just go and have a couple of drinks with the hubby and hopefully he'll take me dancing, I'm not sure, but thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. I appreciate you guys so much. I tried to catch you guys up a little bit into why I left YouTube and why I'm coming back and what have I been up to. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and i am coming back like i said with a whole bunch of content can't tell you exactly what you guys are just gonna get a whole bunch of spam for me <laughs> but thank you so much you guys for watching i love you so so much don't forget to follow me on instagram and to subscribe and to like this video thank you so much love you bye